How about that storm that started it all? Well, as you can see, the snow is done falling. Most of the plowing is now finished, but Blizzard Allison is still, for some, making driving dangerous. The storm not only dropped uh, more than a foot of snow on the area, but by definition, a blizzard needs to have 35 mile per hour winds. If you've been outside, it doesn't take long to feel those. Those cold north winds have been blowing quite a bit of that snow around as well. Fox 11's Becky DeVries shows us how the effects of Blizzard Allison are still being felt. Driving after a blizzard often proves challenging. So everybody's in a rush and sliding all over. But add some snow draped traffic lights to the equation and what was challenging just got tougher. A man involved in this Ashwabanon crash tells Fox 11 between the snow-covered traffic lights and bright sun, he couldn't see. Everybody's guessing on them. They don't know if it's go or stop. They're not melting either, so you can't really tell if they're, you should go or not. The problem isn't limited to one community. I think the city should do something about it because it is very dangerous because uh, the road's already uh, bad enough, uh, and if you can't see the lights, you don't know if, if you're good to go or if you're not, so... I think somebody should be coming around to at least wipe them off. The city says it has wiped some of them off. Green Bay's public works director couldn't talk on camera, but says lights that were so covered you couldn't see any indication of signal were cleared by hand. The city of Green Bay has been changing its traffic lights to LED traffic lights, and this is the first snowstorm where the city has had 100% LED traffic lights, which don't give off much heat and therefore don't help melt the snow. No one anticipated save some energy with the uh, LED lights and everything, and. Uh no one anticipated this happening in this kind of climate. Green Bay's Department of Public Works says the LED lights have saved the city thousands of dollars in monthly power bills. Public Works and the Green Bay Police Department have received calls about the traffic lights and offer some advice for drivers. Treat every intersection like it's a four-way stop. Go up, take your turn, yield to the right, and uh, just proceed with caution. Becky DeVries, Fox 11 News. And the Green Bay Public Works Department was busy clearing the streets again today. The director says the streets are a priority, and he's going to continue to monitor the traffic-like issue as well. The police department is optimistic that higher temperatures this weekend may help melt off some of that snow.